Today we're going to replace the sensor in a Panasonic Lumix FZ40. Um, this one's just got all black images and that's usually, well it could be an exposure problem obviously, but if the display is working, it's not the LCD and it is most likely the sensor. Um, other things can fail too, but again, most likely it's this. So that's what we're going to try to do today. So as always, first thing, get rid of our battery and it helps to have the part. I think this was about 40 bucks on eBay. Um, maybe a little bit more, I forget. But, and if you have a venue to get them right from Panasonic, that's even better. And I can see this was dropped, so there's a pretty big split there that didn't used to be there, and I can kind of push it closed. So I have no doubt that's what probably caused it. All right, so let's start here. We're going to I can't tell if that's thread lock or rust on that screw either. Just wondering if it got wet too. I think it's probably thread lock. I'm yeah, just not sure. That one doesn't have it. Okay, so we're just taking off these Phillips screws around the perimeter. That's got some kind of corrosion on it too. This thing might have gotten wet as well. Um, Alright, keep going here. Alright, that looks like looks like it's thread lock. Yeah, probably. Okay. Looks like we got one up here. And just off camera, I try to lay these things out in a pattern the way I took them out, so I'll remember where they go back. But I also have the video. Uh, I think maybe this one's got to go. Feels like this would be for the front panel, but maybe not. All right, there's some more of that color on that screw, so that's probably the thread lock. Yep, that goes through there. And I think this is mostly loose now. Now, like all things, don't just rip this off of here. There's going to be a cable or two that connects to the back. And there we have it. So let's go over here first. And all right. So this little tab right here just flips up. And then that can wiggle out. And then we'll be able to lift this up enough that we can get into this guy right here. I tried to get a hold of it with that, it didn't seem to work, so let me try this. And it's not working either. Try that again. There we go, a little more firm grip. Okay. All right, so our CCD is gonna be underneath this guy yet. So I believe this is still the best approach. I'm not absolutely sure though. I'm trying to look under there to see what I can see, but there's a pretty big circuit flex under there. Um, well, I'm just not sure, so we're going to try to leave all those connected if we can and just fold it up. Um, so we'll disconnect that, flip that little tab as well, and then this will wiggle out. We've got a couple of screws around here. And then I'll disconnect this flex cable here on the bottom. And we'll see if we can just fold it up or if we have to take it off. A 
Alright, looks like it for the screws. Alright, now this guy probably, these probably come out this way. Yep, just pull those out a little bit. And then, and then this guy should come out. Being, I want to be careful not to poke a hole in this or anything here. When we're wiggling it. I prefer to use my fingers rather than a tool for that reason. Alright, let's see what happens if we flip this up, if we can. Or do we have to take it out? So I think, I think I'm going to have to take off the rest of that stuff. Flipping it doesn't really seem to, well, maybe, maybe. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to take a break and just take this off camera and blow some of that dust and stuff out of there. I'll be back. Okay, just use a blower tool and a toothbrush to get that stuff out of there and all right I guess I guess I gotta take this stuff off of here I was kinda hoping I didn't but so let's see if we can't disconnect these guys there's one There's two, three, four, five, five, and this guy. So th these are a little tougher. These were, you gotta get a pretty good hold of those and wiggle them out. Uh. Uh. Okay, there we go. So that's six, and counting that guy. And again, uh, good news is we have a video we can watch. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Now, I should be able to just take that right out. And that's the case. Okay. So, now we're where we want to go. This is our sensor right there. So I'm going to open this guy up. Now, be careful when you're taking these out of here because a lot of sensors, and I don't know if this one does or doesn't, have this stuff can be removable or loose. So we don't want to just flip them around. It probably isn't or else it would already be loose in that package but so this looks like it's just three screws and then now we lift this up same deal the stuff in here we're gonna make sure there's nothing under here and there might be Huh? Doesn't look like it. Okay, alright. So again, I'm going to take this off camera and just blow that out a little bit. Okay. And now we're back in the game here. So we're going to put this guy right in there carefully. We're going to make sure that's clean.
Mm. Alright, I'm not going to tighten those up until I get all of them in there. But... Okay. Okay. Now, we'll get this board back in there. And we got to make sure we get all of our cables on top of it while we're doing this. So, that comes out. That comes out. Okay, there's a little connector right here. We're going to have to make sure we push into that. So that was one of the reasons it was snug in there, which is fine. As long as we know what we're doing, what we're looking at. All right, so I'll get this out of the way. Okay, so I got one, two. That's the center three, four. Got that cord and that. That's down here. And this guy... Yeah, you don't want to don't want to set the board in until. All right, so we're going to give that a little squeeze right there to make sure that pushes into that connector, and we're going to put our screws back in here, and then we'll start connecting cables. Then we're almost to the point where we can give it a try. Well, we can give it a try, but we'll need to connect the back to see if we can see anything. Sorry, I'm sniffly. I'm it's spring in Pennsylvania, so I'm either getting rid of a cold or fighting allergies, and I'm not even sure which one it is. Okay, all right, let's start connecting these guys. I'm going to start with the sensor itself just because it's sort of under some of the other ones so and I can see this is going to be a bit of a pain to flex it where it needs to go on the back side of that with the flat part of my tweezers there and lock that one in okay the rest of these should be a lot easier because they're a little more flexible all right and we're gonna get that in there and then push this tab down same thing here push the tab down Okay, I feel like that one's not quite in there right. I'm just not sure. Feels like it sh looks like it should go in farther to me, but there's nothing on there to push. <laughs> Sometimes they have little tabs or ears on the end of them so they can push them a little better. All right, I just wanted to look at that to see how that was. I could also go back and watch the video, but it's it's notched so it's got a little sort of key pattern to it little tabs on the side that only let it go in one way all right and it's one two three four five six okay this guy we didn't count in our six because that was where we started all right and now this guy Okay, that slides in there and then that pushes up to lock that one in. Okay, 
All right. So now we're going to hook up these two these two things to the back here. And then before I put the final screws in it, we'll put a battery in in there and see if we can't test it. Okay, so that goes this one goes like this. And again, you can always go back and watch the video, but this one goes this way. Okay, and then this one, which is a little tough to see on camera, but we're going to reconnect this guy to right here. We just got to fold that back in there like that. Trying not to drop anything if we can help it. Trying not to put a hole through our flex cable using the tweezers. Nope, I missed. Oh, you can see that I I missed. Because <laughs> again, it's hard to keep the back where it needs to be. Sorry to pull this off camera here. I'm just trying to get it a little closer to myself so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, come on. Oh, it's making me crazy. <laughs> oh, be nice. Oh my God. Oh boy, okay. I think I finally got it. I think. I'm not absolutely sure. Alright, so let's pop a battery in, see if everything works. And if it does, we just gotta put some screws in. Oh no! Oh no! Look at his blank. So we either didn't connect it right, or we got another problem. Oh no. We're gonna pause here for a minute. So I'm just gonna... Alright, so we still got a blank image, so I'm gonna... double check to make sure I have all these flex cables in here properly but if that doesn't solve it then we got bigger problems Trying not to take the back off again because putting that ribbon cable in was such a pain. Well, that 
All right, that's bad news, but Okay Let's I don't know if we can see what we're doing here off camera, but I think I got it that time I must have not quite had that connector in there But looks like we're good Take a picture or two here Where's the flash? Where's that? Let's see. Oh, let's turn the flash on. All right. I'm going to test this a little bit off camera, but no need to wait for that. So we put in our final screws, and we're done. Hope that helped somebody out. Panasonic FZ40. Thanks for checking me out.